First thing you need to do is write your name. Find a spot on the front of your book to write your name. With your pencil, highlight with your, or write your name with your pencil. Then you can put your pencil down. Highlighter's ready. I see one of our sight words in the title. What do you see? And, and good, so with your highlighter, let's highlight the word and, and. And at the bottom, I see two sight words, so we need to highlight. Okay. A uh, and can. What kind of words are we looking for? Words that have what in them? No, but we, yeah, but what kind of words? What kind of? Short A, you're right. So at the title, I see this word, the short A. N, A, N, Nan. The word and has a short A. D, A, N, Dan. So the title of this story is Nan and Dan. And if you go to the bottom, I see some more short A words. Nan, can, t, a. The word a is not a short A word because it's a cheater word. It's not saying a. And yeah, p, a, n, pan. So that word is nan, pan, tap. We know the word a, uh, and that last word is Pan. So I want you to come up here. The title of this story is Nan and Dan. Who do you think Nan is? The grandma. I think, yeah. So right here I'm going to write Nan, capital N, A, N, and I'm going to put an arrow to Nan. I think the little boy's name is Dan. So let's write Dan right here. D, capital D, it's his name. A, N, and draw an arrow to Dan. All right, so let's read that sentence at the bottom here. Fingers ready, highlighters down and fingers ready. Ready, point, ready, read. Nan can tap a pan. Oh, and what punctuation do you see? A period, good, go ahead and circle your period. Now, up here, Nan looks like maybe she's the grandma. And Dan is the little boy. Do any of you have a special name for your grandma? Or your abuela or your abuelita? Abuela. So what is Nan doing? What's she showing Dan how to do on this page? What's she showing him? Yeah. To tap on the what? On the pan, yeah. Sometimes little kids or babies, they like to like play pretend drums. Xavier, I don't need to hear your pencil. Okay, next page. Open it up to the next page. Okay, highlighters ready. What should we highlight on this bottom part right here? Can, very good. I see the word can. All right, highlight the word can. Then with your pencil, let's look for the short A words. I see Nan, can, is this word a short A word? Nope, I don't see short A. Dan, and not tan, t -a tap, and a period, good. What is this word right here? Let's sound it out, ready? Ha, a, o, help, very good. It is the word help. Okay, let's read it together. Put your pencils down. Fingers ready. Ready and read. Nan can help Dan tap. Oh, so what's she sh letting him do now? <coughs> yeah, she's letting him use a spoon and tap on a pan too. Okay. All right. N page. Oh, I see two sight words. Not Dan. Can. And and. Very good. Now let's look for those short A words. Where does it have the A sound? I see Dan. Can. Tap. And. Tap. Whoa. Every word on that page is a short A word. What is that punctuation called at the end of that sentence right there? Exclamation point or an exclamation mark. You can say either one. Okay? 
And what does that mean? Does that mean I just yell the last word of that sentence? No. 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 You read it with strong feelings, okay? Maybe you're excited. Maybe you are mad. But I think that he's excited on this page. Yeah. These are all short A words. Fingers ready. Pencils down and fingers ready. Ready and read. Dan can tap and tap. Ooh, let's read it excitedly. Let's read it one more time. But tell, show me excited. Dan can tap and tap. All right, next page. Ooh, now look at this page. Looks like Nan is um, petting, yeah, holding her cat, and Dan's walking up to her. All right, at the bottom I see two sight words. What do you see? Can and ah, very good. There is a period at the end. Let's underline those short A words first. Nan. Ka'an, pa'at. Now the word ah is not a short A word, so don't underline it. If you underlined it, erase. It's a cheater word. It's saying the uh sound. It's not saying ah. And ka'at. And Camden told us we have a period at the end. Okay, fingers right, pencils down, and fingers ready. Okay, fingers ready, ready, and read. Nan can pat a cat. Okay, look at the next. What do you see at the bottom? We need a highlight. I see two words. Can and the. Very good. Oh, yeah, there is a period at the end. Let's underline our short A words. What's this one? What's the first one? Dan. Can, pat, do I need to underline the? No. Cat, circle your punctuation. The punctuation at the end of that sentence is a period. So now who is patting the cat? Dan is, yeah. Okay, pencils down, fingers ready. Read this, sen read this sentence to me, ready? Dan can pat the cat. Oh. So what have they done so far? What has Nan done with Dan so far in this story? Hang it on the hook, honey. He, they patted the cat, but what did they do before that? Yeah, they played drums with the dishes, with the pans, didn't they? All right, next page. Uh-oh. What happened on this page? I think they're tired. Yeah, they've been playing all day. Sometimes old people like Mrs. Kitsky need a nap. And sometimes little kids need a nap too. Okay? Okay, I'm, yeah, tell me what sight words you see. The? Can. Can again, you're right. Ooh, and I see one more. What did you see, Noel? With, very good. There are two periods. Let's find those short A words first. At. What's that spell? Fat. Fat. K at. What's that spell? Cat. K at. N. Can. N. A. Nap. And there's a period. D. A. N. K at. N. N. A. And n a n nan and another period, yeah. <laughs> Pencils down, fingers ready. I need to see everybody reading with me. Oh, no, you're not on the right page. The everybody ready? The fat cat can nap. Dan can nap with Nan. Oh, so what kind of cat is it? A fat cat, yep. And the cat's taking a nap. Dan's taking a nap. And Nan is taking a nap. They're all taking a nap. I think so. We talked about that at the beginning. 
Who are the characters in this story? Dan and Nan, yeah. The cat, okay. And where are they at? Where does it look like they're at? At some, either at Nan's house or maybe at Dan's house or maybe they live in the same house, okay? Was there a problem in this story? No, there wasn't a problem. But what happened first in the story? What did they do first? They, they played them. They played, they tapped on the pans like they were drums, yeah. Then what did they do? They patted the cat, good, yeah, they patted the cat, okay? And then they were so tired, what did they have to do at the end of the story? They had to take a nap, yeah. Okay, what can you do with that book at your house? Or read it to your mom and dad. Tell, have them tell me that you read it, and I'll write it on your reading log. Okay, at home, I want you to send me a video of you reading this book. We're going to read it together right now here at school.